What's going on guys, Chad Christopher here. Welcome back to another woodworking build. So today we've got a farmhouse style stepping stool that we built. Uh, I had a neighbor of mine request this build and I thought it'd be fun to build and then give to her as a Christmas present. So overall, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. You know, there's a couple things we learned along the way. Overall, very happy with it. I think for the legs here, we ended up using two by fours and I just cut those in half. So this was like one two by four worth. We used a one by two for the support rungs. And then this top is a one one by 10. So definitely coming in under that $20 goal as usual. And uh, then obviously just some paint and some stain. So let's get into the build. You'll see kind of everything that I went through and then uh, we'll wrap it up here at the end. All right guys, today we are building a farmhouse style stepping stool for a neighbor of mine. So I went to Home Depot. I picked up a one by 12 here. Uh, this is by I don't even know how many feet, like six, not even six feet, three feet maybe? I don't know, it's pretty short. This thing was about $12. And then I got a one by two here for the supports. And that was three bucks, I think. And then I'm gonna use some spare two by fours from over there for the legs. Let's get started with some, some cuts, man. Okay, so for the legs, like I said, I'm using a two by four here. I'm gonna cut this right in half or rip it in half, I guess, to make two two by twos and those will be the legs. All right, so we got these two by fours cut down. I cut one edge and then used that edge to cut the other edge. So we have a, a relatively nice square. These are supposed to be farmhouse style stools. So I think if they're, if they're a little bit rough, they're fine. They don't need to be plain down or anything, but uh, you know, we've got some good squares to work with now. So I'm gonna measure this. If I didn't mention this is gonna be the top, like the actual standing part, I'm gonna do a 12 by 12 square. We're gonna cut these to, I wanna say like 10 inches high or so. We'll see how that feels. And then we're also gonna try and miter and bevel the ends so that everything kind of falls towards the middle. And then we're gonna use these with some dowels to, uh, as the rungs, sort of, you know, the supports between the legs to hold it all together. So I'm gonna make those measurements now and then cut everything down to size and then we'll start assembling. Back, I would have did it the same uh -huh. In hindsight, I'm the only one to blame <laughs> I ain't picky, I'm just real specific I want nothing less Okay, so I'm over here cutting the legs And this just took me like so many scrap pieces of wood to figure out So essentially what I'm doing is I've got my leg right here You can see it standing up And uh, I've got it leaning not only five degrees to the right, but also five degrees sort of in. So if you can imagine the stool up here, it's sort of tilting towards the center of the stool, which means the legs are coming out away from the, the corners of the stool. So I think that'll give it a lot more stability, as well as it also just kind of looks really nice. This is how I did it. And I don't know why this took me so long to figure out, but <laughs> essentially I set my two, I've got a compound miter saw over here. So I've got a five degree angle here and a five degree angle back there. So I've got a five degree miter and a five degree bevel, I think is what it would be called. So it's given it somewhat of a diagonal cut and you can see it right here. How I'm doing this, and as I mentioned, this took me multiple times to figure out. <laughs> so make your cut and then measure from here over how high you want. So I'm going 10 inches. So measure 10 inches and then literally just slide the piece of wood and make that second cut. Don't pick up the wood. Don't like turn it around 180 degrees. That's what I kept doing on these. And uh, what it does is it makes the top not level. If you think about it, the, you know, the table and the stool, these should be, they're parallel planes. So you just need to make the same cut. Don't pick up the, the leg and move it and stuff like that. So anyways, that's what we're doing here. I gotta make four of those. So just measuring 10 inches, sliding the wood, making another cut. Cool, so I thought I was filming that entire time, but I wasn't. Um, so basically I just made those cuts that I talked about in the last clip. This is what happens when Kyle isn't here. I'm trying to do this myself. So in any case, the next step I'm doing here is I've got these all cut, but as you can see, there's just a, a slight variance between them. So I'm actually gonna line two up, try and be as perfect as I can on the back and then along this fence. And then I'm gonna square these two edges up and then use one of those edges with the other two legs so we can hopefully get all four as absolutely close to perfect as possible. So I'm gonna set you guys right here. Once you got your legs cut, 
uh, just kind of loosely lean them up together like this because it's kind of hard to tell, you know, which leg is going where, find the way they want to lean. All right, so that's how I've marked them. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I kind of know that it goes into clockwise and starts in the upper left. I don't really know that it matters which way you start or if these end up in the same order, just as much as these corners all end up in the center. So you can see them all laying on the stool. So I just put the stool upside down and they're just, they're just kind of sitting there. Now I'm gonna try and take a measurement from here to here and here to here for the supports, and then we'll take those off, attach those with dowels, and then we'll attach these, the entire base, to the entire top. Okay, so I've got my rungs laid out here. I'll show you how I was cutting those in just a minute, but essentially we've got a, an eight inch and then a seven and three eighths inch piece. Both are cut at five degree angles. I have also marked like the center of this with the center of this. So now I'm gonna try and insert some dowels and I'm just gonna kind of play around until I figure it out. So I'm just gonna let the camera roll and, and hopefully uh, it works out. Did it the same uh -huh. In hindsight, I'm the only one to blame <laughs> I ain't picky, I'm just real specific I want nothing less than terrific I know y'all get it I'm aggressive, so our style is clashing yeah. Killer instinct and I play with passion yeah. I'd rather be hated for being one of the realest than Okay, so I'm just letting this one dry now I'm gonna show you what I did to measure these rungs out This is 7 and 3 eighths This is 8 inches What I did over here on the saw is I brought this back to zero, and then I'm just at a five degree angle here. So I'm keeping that angle that the legs are sitting at. Um, and then what you wanna do is, so here's the eight inch piece I just cut. You wanna make sure that the short sides face each other, because if you think about it, right, the legs need to come up and they're coming in. So we need to match that angle on both sides. So pretty much on every cut, I'm having to switch from this five to this five. You could flip the board and remark it, but uh, it's just easier for me to flip from five to five. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm putting together the other set of legs and then we'll attach those legs and attach them to the top. Okay, so I've got the two legs built and I cut the same size supports to connect the legs. I'm not 100% sure that this is gonna work, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's a square, right? Like we're creating a square. So let's hope it works. <laughs> we're gonna connect it the same way though, with wooden dowels, drill hole, dowel, connect the other side, and then throw it on here. Always city. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Ain't nothing changed but the weather. The dangling carrot it hang from the rib. All right, so we are back in the studio for day two. I'm just applying a little bit of wood filler here to some of these joints. Uh, I think I might have clamped one of the clamps too tight because it kind of made the stool turn sideways a touch, which is what made this side come out. So I'm just going to fill this with wood filler. Um, and then we're going to sand this thing all flat, throw that top on. And then we're into finishing this thing. Uh, also today, you'll notice we got a moving camera instead of just a bunch of tripod shots. That's because Kyle's back. Everyone say hi to Kyle. Hi, Kyle. All right, so I drilled uh, holes for dowels along these four pillars, and then I'll line everything with glue as well. But to uh, get the holes to match up in the lid, I'm gonna use these little spikes again. So I've marked where the lid and the base should meet up. So I'm gonna line those lines up. Okay, and then I'm gonna press down I'm gonna try and keep this top in, as in close as I can so I don't have to do too much lining up. Okay, then we have four 
solid guide holes on where we're gonna drill. Way back, way back, way back. Pure pandemonium when I'm in the building. Grown man flow, I ain't got time for the children. Now you can boo me, jump off, I'm winning. I still love you though, shout out to the women. All right, so I got Kyle over here. He's staining this thing up real nice and pretty. I almost don't want to paint it because of how pretty it looks, but we're gonna let this stain dry a bit. And then we're gonna throw on a coat of white paint and lightly distress it. Hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit of the stain coming out from underneath. All right, so we've got our finished product here. And uh, the thing is very stable. It'll hold me, I I'm only 165 pounds though. So I also had my buddy who's 220 pounds step on this thing, jump around a little bit on it, and it is absolutely rock solid steady. So really happy about that. Yeah, like a, you know, clamping the legs, kind of threw it out of out of square a little bit, but overall still, it's a, it's a farmhouse style. It's supposed to have a little bit of that distressed look. I took some sandpaper to it, roughed up some of the edges. I also threw some felt blankets kind of things down here. They have, they have like uh, adhesive on one side and it's just I think it's called felt blankets um, you throw it on here and then that way you know it's not marking up your it's not marking up your floor or your tables or anything or whatever you're setting this on so I think this would be an awesome gift for someone especially maybe someone with toddlers or something like that um, but yeah overall very happy with the way this came out we stayed under our $20 mark I hope you enjoyed it if so hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you're new around here leave me a comment down below and I'll try and get to all of those and uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Chad Christopher.